Hello, good evening, traders. Welcome to our show, After Hours with Berries. Let's see what Bank Nifty did today. As I had mentioned about this zone in the previous video, that, uh, I had mentioned about these two levels. One was uh, I, I had given preference to this zone, and I had also said that we could get some reaction from this level also. Uh, this level did not give the reaction I wanted, but if you see, this zone has acted out as a proper demand zone. And price did man like it has tested it twice, and both the times price did move on the upside. Uh, today, if you see uh, again testing the zone, the price did go to uh, is is in a sideways range now. Again, uh, we are not are showing Bank Nifty is showing a lot of strength and Nifty, no doubt about it. But uh, uh, now the trade plan sir would be we would I I would wait again for a dip if I get. Uh, to go long now, this level will also act as support. It's not that just because it is broken down here and again, uh, it doesn't mean the level is uh, uh, not valid. It is valid. Now I would again look out for these two levels if I get a dip to go long or a simple trade would be just to go long above the 43,780 780 levels. Yeah, like giving some buffer on it. Uh, that's for Bank Nifty. For Nifty, Nifty has been underperforming Bank Nifty now for a while. And as you guys can see, I had already drawn this Fibonacci levels and I had told you that 0 .0, 0 0.618 levels is the golden ratio. And there is this theory, once the price starts closing below 0, 0 0.618, uh, markets like there's a, there's a trend change. They say that the, uh, the trend is changing. But as you can see, the price did dip below it and it closed above it. So this is this 0 0.618 uh, levels have been held here. Uh, and as you can see now the 0.5 did act as a resistance and the simple trade here again would be, I would go long above 18,530 levels in Nifty. Uh, moving on to stocks. Uh, I'm looking at Ultra, I, I told you guys about Ultra Semco. Uh, Ultra Semco has properly today given a retest of the zones that I had marked and mentioned. In fact, it gave a proper retest of the exact level I had marked of 7,000 and it has formed a hammer. I, I, I see this continuing now to 7,300 and above. Uh, second stock was HDFC Bank also today. Yeah, HDFC Bank, if you see in line chart, it has managed to uh, give a breakout in daily time frame. And yeah, I, I see now what happening, uh, what the possible scenario is. Uh, it should test 1650 to 1700 zones uh, in the coming days now. Yeah. The closing in daily is not that that confident, uh, but yeah, I would I would still like there's a range breakout on the line chart, so I am still uh, pretty much positive on on the upside that can come in HDFC Bank. Yeah, Gandhar, anything you have in your radar? Nothing specific really, but uh, yeah, I I keep seeing the disparity between performances of nifty and bank nifty again yeah so that is something to uh, keep an eye on i am i'm still trying to figure out if there is a trade here to be made with correlation but i still don't have enough data to execute a trade on that front so for now i'm not exploring the unknown territory just yet yeah. uh, day's best performer once again it is Nifty PSU Bank Index. I think uh, PNB was the uh, top performer bank today, 3.2 percentage point. And I think the momentum is carrying PSU banks. Of course, we are at the uh, bottom of the NPA cycle. So uh, banks, uh, PSU banks balance sheets are once again uh, as clean as they uh, could be. Maybe a little cleaner would also be fine. But uh, yeah, the PSU banks uh, move in a very cyclical manner. Yes, over a long period, uh, big banks like SBI might give you some sort of uh, positive returns. But uh, even on an SBI, if uh, you could go to monthly time frame, you can see that uh, the because of the way balance sheets are managed, if you could zoom out a little. Yeah, there it is. So for multi decades, the the because of the quality of the balance sheet, the stock does not do anything because company is simply not uh, making enough money to reinvest in the uh, in the bank and then give dividends to the government and the other shareholders. So 
ESU banks, yeah, they do uh, move in phases. As you can see, till 2002, it gave it did nothing. Then from 2002 to 2012, uh, the high it made in 2011-ish. That was the high that was held for. I, I'm I'm gonna say till 2021. So about for 10 years, the uh, stock returns, rather price returns, were not positive. Of course, with dividends, returns will increase a little. But uh, yeah, this is the kind of problem I see in investing. PSU banks, they're fine for trading, but for investing, well, you are losing a lot of opportunity cost here. From uh, immediately after GFC, we saw a really, really good rally in Indian stock markets. If I'm not wrong, uh, Nifty uh, at 2008, uh, the high of 2009, 10, something like that was around 6,000, and we are at 18,000 today. So uh, Nifty has tripled. I'm, I'm, I don't think PSU banks. Uh, have given that kind of return over a long enough period of time. So uh, that is something about the PSU banks. Coming to the other stocks, Nifty IT, well, uh, after the uh, bloodbath it had on Friday, today today's closing was not that bad. I mean, it did open gap down. It looked like it might keep heading lower. Uh, IT, sorry, Nifty IT. Oh, sorry. So yeah, there it is. So like uh, I was saying, on Friday, we uh, Nifty IT fell down by a little over 3 percentage points. Today, uh, the, that fall seems to be slowing down a little. The dip was bought in, though it closed down by about half a percentage points. But at least it's not an uncontrollable fall like we see in some of the other stocks. So in that sense, Nifty IT is holding reasonably well. Yeah, this is again a dip I will consider buying once it falls a little more. So that's for my watch list. Uh, have you missed anything yet? No, I don't think so. All right. So uh, let me thank the viewers. Guys, thanks for tuning in to After Hours with Berries. Links to all our socials in, are in the video's description. Make sure you like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to this channel so that you're updated every time we upload a video. Thanks.